What's up, Peep Sneak Battle, a.k.a. Nino's Corner, man. First off, if you like this content that is coming to you, go hit that subscribe button down there at the bottom. Um, also, guys, if you like this on the podcast, man, please go give me a five-star comment, like some kind of review. But today, I've been getting a bunch of feedback. People want me to do like a five-minute, you know, instant comment video when it comes to new Texas signee in commitment, Keith Ron Lee from Brian Rudder High School. Man, I like this kid a lot. You know, 5'10", around 170 pounds. You know, so Steve Sarkeesian actually said that he's more of like one of those gadget guys when it comes to playing on the field. But he's more than he's more than just a gadget guy, guys. He is a guy who had, what, 71 catches, almost 1,700 yards this year, 26 touchdowns. Um, his high school football coach basically said that they built that team around him. All right, so he, you know, he played wide receiver. Uh, he played some running back his junior year. I think he rushed like 500 yards while also being a full-time wide receiver. Played some uh, some defensive back, played some safety, played some cornerback, even dropped him down to play a little bit of linebacker and rushed the quarterback at 5'10", 170, 175 pounds. This kid is an athlete, you know, and I like his game. I think he is going to fit in really well here in Sark's offense at the slot position. We haven't had this kind of speed here on campus, guys. Just this, this, this kind of speed. Probably since mm, Dajay Johnson, yeah, he was he was a burner, but he wasn't as quick twitch as this kid. Um, when it comes to just quick twitchness, I'm going to say maybe like a RT. And if guys don't know who RT is, that is D1 and only. Ramon's Taylor was here from I guess 2002, 2003 time frame to, to uh, 05. Uh, you know, he could do a little bit of everything. Uh, you know, but I think RT actually came in. He, he was a tad bit bigger, you know, than Ali. But um, yeah, I mean, but he has that. That kind of wiggle where he can play a slot receiver, you know, uh, he can take punts, he can take kickoffs, you know, if they need him, you know, just to play defense, maybe he can play defense, but no, he's going to come here in, in here and be a slot wide receiver. Um, he's a guy that you can get one-on-one -on, -one on a on a nickelback and he can do some damage. And if they don't have a nickelback on the field, you know, a la when, you know, Ohio State play Alabama and put that linebacker on Smith and Smith took it to the house. You can have it just like that, some mismatches here, in which that is what we need here in the Big 12. We need a bunch of wide receivers who can cause a lot of mismatches on the other end. And this kid probably is going to come in and most likely be our fastest wide receiver. And if not our fastest, he's, he's going to be our most quick twitch wide receiver, a guy who can make a one cut and run, a guy who can make you miss. But once he gets the ball, guys, it's game time. You know, and so one thing that I did notice about him, he plays like he's six foot five meaning that he goes and high points the ball. There's been plenty of times where the quarterback basically just threw the ball up and it's him and like two other people, and he jumps above all of them and gets that ball at 5'10". And I think 5'10 might be stretching it, but we're going to say he's 5'10", 170 pounds. But um, just looking at his film, guys, he looks, and I know every school says this, every school says this, that, oh, he's not a three-star, he's not a three-star. Well, to me, let's be honest, this kid – uh, almost 1,700 yards receiving his senior year, 26 touchdowns, 71 catches, like 23, 24 yards a catch, and 5A ball here in Texas. Um, and to not be at least a four-star, it's kind of like, ah, you know, whatever. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I think his star rating is just a product of COVID, which uh, there's a lot of players like this in the country. We've we've gotten players that are in California now, guys, who did not have a football season, and this is going to be their breakout year and had colleges looking at them, and they are just looking for a couple more things before they get these guys a scholarship, and they didn't have a football season. So you got kids who are graduating with no college offers because they didn't have it last year to shine. At least in Texas, we had the opportunity to play football. But – even though they did play football, a lot of the scouts couldn't make it out there to see, you know, like all the games. Um, the camp circuit was basically closed down. And so you see guys pretty much stagnate. You know, they, they get stagnant and they get in this one spot. And that's where they were when they last, uh, you know, went to any camp or got, you know, evaluated. And that's where they stayed. So I, I think that's what happened to, you know, to, to the kid. You know, so Lee is a man, Keith Run Lee, fast kid quick twitch kid guys like I said he he's gonna be one of those gadget kind of guys that's what you know that's what Sark said one of those guys where you can line him up in the slot 
you can do some reverses, you can do some bubble screens, you can you know try to find that mismatch for him. He's going to be really fun to watch just for the simple reason of his speed and his quickness. He's going to be a lot of fun to watch. So it's good to see that Texas is 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 actually putting some kind of priority on speed now. And this was a pickup from the previous you know staff. So you know so kudos to the previous staff for doing that. Uh, you know, but uh, uh, give Andre Coleman you know some credit on this one too. You know, he is the new wide receiver coach and was one of the coaches on the last staff. He was one of the only coaches that was retained here at Texas with the new staff. So in saying that, man, Keith Ryan Lee is going to be a, a really good player. Like I said, my comp form, I like to comp him to maybe a more shiftier RT, which is Ramon's Taylor guys. Um, the most speed I think we had on this team since, uh, uh, you know, DJ, which is Dajay Johnson. And um, yeah, I think he's going to be a good player here if we develop him right. And I think that this staff is going to develop these players. Um, you know, his coach, Kind of compared him to Alabama's Devontae Smith. I, you know, I don't like to compare the folks to guys of that caliber just yet. I mean, he's a Heisman Trophy winner, going to be a first-round draft pick. You know, let's pump the brakes a little bit. But I see where he's coming at. He's coming at saying that he's one of those guys, when he gets the ball in his hands, you're not going to catch him. He, he's a smaller-framed guy. You know, he's not the biggest guy. Um, and he, he, just, he just runs with that speed with his pads on, too. And he makes people miss, and he has sure hands. I mean, I get the comparisons. I, I, I really do. And I think probably the coach was, was, was probably thinking, in a Sark's offense, this is what he's going to look like or had the potential to look like. But I'm excited to watch this guy play, man. You know, we got Keith Ron Lee. We got um, we got Jaden um, um, Alexis, who, who uh, actually came in from Florida. We got Casey Kane. You know, um, this kid's from, I think he's from Baton Rouge, or he's from New Orleans, actually. And so, yeah, so we have a nice crop of young receivers that we can develop. The receiver room's already pretty stacked with who, you know, like who we got in there already with, uh, you know, we got Jordan Whittington, we got Jake Smith, we got Josh Moore, we got Troy O'Meary, uh, we got um, uh, Avante Woodard, we got Kennedy Lewis. I mean, we got some guys in this team. Oh, and might I say, Kennedy Lewis might be the fastest straight line wide receiver in this team. We got Marcus Washington also. Um, but yeah, Kennedy Lewis might be the fastest straight line wide receiver on this team. But I think this kid has a little bit more wiggle, you know, than he does. So um, another guy that he kind of reminds me of, and you know, I don't like to put comparisons on kids, but this kid is a is a Texas kid also. Is Jalen Waddle? Jalen Waddle wasn't the biggest guy either coming out of college. You know, well, actually come out of high school. He's 175 pounds also. Had the same kind of burst, same kind of wiggle. I think he was just a little bit more powerful because he was a little bit more bigger. Um, you know, so, uh, yeah, he kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, Waddle, just a little bit. Waddle was explosive. You know, he played at Bel Air, you know, what's that, right, in Houston, right? But anyways, Waddle was explosive also. He's one of those guys that I hated that Texas even – missed on him and they went all over the country to find a slot wide receiver and the slot guy was the best slot guy in the country was right there in the houston area but keith run lee kind of reminds me a little bit of waddle this is on a smaller side you know waddle had a frame where he could pack on another you know you know like 20 pounds so i think waddle now is probably 180 185 pounds you know maybe even like 190 pounds but he, he's a solidly built kid now and then his frame was like that in high school. I don't know if Keith Ron Lee's frame is like that just yet. You know, his his frame looks like a more slender frame. But um, yeah, he kind of you know has that wiggle, the same wiggle that like Waddle had coming out of high school too. So it's good to see that Texas is 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 is, is putting some kind of emphasis on speed and quickness. And I think Keith Ron Lee is going to be a great kid for them when it comes to having a good slot receiver. Um, and so he, he has some you know like some really good guys to actually learn from here in the slot with. Jake Smith and Jordan Whittington, these guys were, you know, bona fide, you know, high four star, five star kids. And he can kind of sit behind them, look at what they're doing, you know, get molded by them and then be ready to play either sometime this year or sometime next year. Who knows? But great pickup for the, the Longhorns. I like the pickup. Um, yeah. And on that note, guys, you know, how I always end my podcast. Do you guys don't be afraid to fail. I grow your environment. Understand your brilliance, man. And on that note, man, I'm out. Salute.